Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Jesus conquer Satan. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah to the mighty God. Jesus conquer Satan. Makataraba. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to talk to you. Don't mean the God I am to be God I was in your life. Hallelujah. Don't make the God I am to be God I was. Praise Jesus. When God said to Moses in Exodus chapter 3, and Moses asked God, Who shall I say to the children of Israel that have sent me? He says, Say to them, the God that I am, I am that I am, I've sent you. I am that I am. Hallelujah. He's telling Moses that whatever I say I, I am, I be, that is who I am. And whatever you yourself say I am to you, that is who I am to you. Hallelujah. At that moment, they need a deliverer. So, he want them to have trust, total trust in him. I am that I am. I've sent you. Say to them that I am that I am. Hallelujah. Then in Exodus 15, verse 26, it said, I am the Lord that heals you. I am the Lord that heals you. Praise Jesus. So, it is also equal to whatever you say God is to you, that is who he is to you. If you say God is, is your healer, he will heal you. He will heal you because he said, I am the God, the Lord that heals you. Heals you, that is, it, it continues and it has no end. It will heal today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Every day it heals the sick. Praise Jesus. So, if you doubt what God says, that I am the Lord that heals you, it means you have allowed the serpent, the devil, to whisper to your ears. That that way that God said, that promised that I am the Lord that heals you, that his God did not mean it. That was the same thing serpent said to Eve, that you shall not die if you eat that fruit. And God said to her, you shall die if you eat the fruit. So serpent deceived and manipulated Eve, that God did not mean what he said. So if you are so, do not believe the promises of God concerning your life, the will of God for your life. What God has said in his word that he would do. It means you have allowed the serpent also to manipulate you, to bewitch you. To lie to you that God did not mean what he said. But God said in Psalm 89 verse 34, My covenant will, not, will I not break, neither utter the things that have gone out of my lips. So, if you say, if you don't believe the promises of God for your life, it means you are saying, He is God I was, not God I am. God I am means today I am, tomorrow I am. So it continues, it never changes. It's the same yesterday, same today, and same forever. Hallelujah. You see, when the leper came to Jesus in Matthew chapter 8, verse 2 to 3, he, asked, he said to Jesus, if thou will, that can heal me. And Jesus corrected that doubt, that uncertainty in the leper. He said, I will be thou healed. And immediately the leper was healed. So Jesus corrected that doubt, that uncertainty. Because the healing of Jesus is for all that comes to him. That believe that he is the healer. Praise Jesus. You see, Testament means person's will. A person's will. That is testament. That is what it means. And Jesus was not, was not his only a testator. That is the one that wrote the will. Who died. You see. But also he was resurrected. And also that means he's also the mediator of the will. Hallelujah. To ensure that his will manifests in your life. That you are not denied of that will. What he has written concerning you. Unlike an advocate that when somebody that wrote a will died. That they somehow, whichever way, sometimes they can manipulate will. 
But Jesus now be also not only the testator of the will, but also the mediator of the will. Hebrews 7 25 says, He's able to save them unto the, to the uttermost that come to God by him, seeing that he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Hallelujah. He's an advocate that will never deny the will to the beneficiaries and is the mediator he ever liveth to make intercession for us hallelujah and hebrews 12 24 says we have come to jesus the mediator of the new covenant the new testament the blood of sprinkling that speak a better thing than the blood of abel the blood that sprinkling sprinkling means something that that shower raining that drops that you see that is raining like a shower the blood of sprinkling. So it means if you did not hide yourself from that blood of sprinkling, it will touch you and you also will receive your healing. The blood of sprinkling. It speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Hallelujah. Because it's the blood of God. So if you have sickness in your body, you see, that blood that sprinkling can touch you and heal you. If you believe. You see, the promises of God, the promise of God, you see, when it is, when it is believed and acted upon, it's transformed to the power of God. It's, when the will of God, the promises of God, is believed and acted upon, then that promise is transformed to the power of God. Hallelujah. It's transformed to the power of God to make the promise of God a reality in your life. Hallelujah. So the promise of God is, 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 is also equal to the power of God when it is believed and acted upon to produce whatever that he has promised in your life. Again and again and again. So you believe in it and acting upon it will be make it possible for you to harvest the will of God in your life, for your life. So now, faith now is that spiritual technology that converts the promises of God into manifestation or reality in your life. Hallelujah. Let me say it again. Faith. Hallelujah is the spiritual technology that will convert the promises of God into manifestation and reality in your life. God that says, I am the Lord that heals you, he never changed it. It's the same yesterday, same today, and same forever. You see, hallelujah. What, it, what is written in Matthew chapter 8, you see, from verse 16, that they brought them to him and he healed them all. And verse 17 says, that it may be fulfilled that which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, that himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. You see, himself took our infirmity. That word, our, our, you are included in it. The same thing with me. Every one of us that are in Christ, you are included He took our infirmity. So you are included. Don't let the God I am to be God I was in your life. Because when you don't believe, you have made him to be God I was. That is, he can no longer do what it, you read or you heard, what he did in the Bible. But if you make him the God I am, it means he can do it again and again and again in your life and even people that you yourself go to minister to. Hallelujah. You see, this, the scripture says, the testimony of Jesus is a spirit of prophecy. Prophecy has to do with the future. Jesus came to fulfill that which was spoken of by the prophet. And that same spirit of prophecy, it means what Jesus did as well. Hallelujah. That you read that he did. It can also, but that same spirit can also do the same 
in your life even much more now. Hallelujah. Jesus proved himself to be this, exactly the same through Paul. You see, an April handkerchief taken from the body of Paul even healed so many people. Hallelujah. Do you know that even the shadow of Peter healed the sick? The shadow of Peter. Even Philip did miracles in the name of Jesus. So he proved himself to be exactly the same of what you read in the Bible that he did. Even he's proving himself exactly the same to me, myself. Because I have prayed for many sick, even people with cancer, and they got, they healed, they were healed. Jesus healed them. He proved himself to be exactly the same. If you believe and act upon his word, you see, his promise will be, be transformed to the power of God. Hallelujah. And when the power of God is, is, in, is, is all around you, it can do much more that will even baffle you. Because Jesus said, Verily I say unto you, He that believeth in me, the work that I do, also shall he do. He will even do greater work because I go to the Father. Hallelujah. So don't let the serpent, the devil, whisper to your ears that God did not mean what he says. It will be impossible for you to harvest the will of God that you do not believe in or even believe that God offers. God I am is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If he says he's the God that provides for you, he will provide for you. If he says he's the God that heals you, he will heal you. If he says he's the God that fights for you, he will fight for you. If he says he's the God that defends you, he will defend you. If he says he's your refuge, he will be your refuge. If you say it's your joy, it's your joy. If you say it's your confidence, it's your confidence. Hallelujah. The God I am is I am forever. The same thing Moses said to the children of Israel that I am that I am have sent me. I am also saying the same thing to you right now as you're listening to me. I am have sent me to tell you that it's God. It's I am that I am. It's the Lord that heals you. No matter how long that sickness has stayed in your body, you need to believe now that it's the Lord that heals you and you are healed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. You see, it's, he wants you to prosper, to enjoy good health, even though as your soul prospers. As long as you engage, you keep the rules, of the engagement of the kingdom of God. Whatever you do, he say it will prosper. Whatever you lay your hands on, he say it will prosper. Anything that seems to be dead when you touch it, he say it will live. Because you have a spirit, a life-giving spirit that lives in you. Hallelujah. Don't believe the lies of the devil. Believe what God says concerning you. How will you know? How will somebody know the will of, of somebody that passed away? By reading the will. So you also need to read the testament, the will of God for your life. You also need to read his will so that you can know and claim it and act upon it. Hallelujah. Remember, you believing in the will of God, the promises of God, your faith in God. We convert the promises of God into manifestation and a reality in your life. Even people around you. Praise Jesus. So, remember, Jesus said to the leper, I will be thou healed. And the man was healed immediately. So don't doubt. Rather, you doubt your doubts. You doubt the lies of the devil, of that serpent. Why you believe what God says he will do, and he will surely do it. Because that spirit of prophecy will also do the same and much more in your life as you believe it. Hallelujah to the mighty God. Praise Jesus. Don't just be like somebody without a shepherd. 
like somebody that does not have a God that, that loves you, that cares about you. Don't live your life like an orphan. Don't entrust your life into the hands of people. But to God that created you in his own image and after his likeness. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. He said, whatsoever you do in words and in deeds, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Giving thanks to God the Father by him. So everything you do, you do in the name of Jesus. He said, I will, he said you will go and serve the Lord thy God. I will bless your bread. I will bless your water. I will take away sickness from among you. Whatever you eat, you bless it in the name of the Lord. Whatever you drink, you bless it in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You bless your water. He says it. It's the same yesterday, same today, and same forever. Hallelujah to the mighty God. So don't make God I am to be I was in your life. If you do so, you'll be cheating yourself. You will suffer for nothing. Because everywhere you go, that should be the kingdom of God. Because that spirit lives in you. Hallelujah to the mighty God. Now, if you are listening to me right now and you have any sickness in your body, just lay your right hand on your chest and believe and say amen. Close your eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the life-giving spirit, the Holy Ghost, touch you now and be healed. By his stripes you are healed. In the name of Jesus, whatever the sickness might be in your body, I pronounce you healed in the name of Jesus because he himself took our infirmity and bear our sicknesses. He was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. By his stripes, you are healed. And I say to you now that you are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise Jesus. Please share your testimony. Your testimony can also inspire somebody's faith. And also they receive their healing. Don't keep it to yourself. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. I will see you all in my next video by the message of the Lord that endure forever. Amen.